How high will interest rates go? How high will those higher rates impact us? And stick around to the end to hear the projections on how rates will go. Those are the questions that we're going to tackle in today's video. But first, hi, I'm Jeff Chubb, and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. And I'm Sammy Eliopoulos with Guaranteed Rate and one of the top loan officers in the United States. So rates are rising, Sammy. What's happening and how is it impacting all of us? Well, man, lots to discuss and a uh, very complex question. So well, where, where do you want to start? I mean, because it is a complex question. Everybody just assumes that when the Fed raises rates, then, well, mortgage rates are going to follow. Like I said, it's very complex. Uh, let's first dispel any notion that the Fed controls mortgage rates. They can increase certain benchmark rates, which will certainly impact short-term borrowing costs, such as cars, home equity lines, or credit cards. But mortgage rates, mm, not so easy. Okay, so then what happens? Does that mean all rates will eventually go up? If it's a benchmark, then it has to start there, right? Ryan, again, today the prime rate is 8.5%. The average 30-year fixed rate today is 7.325. Big difference. Okay, so tell me what impact rates then. Lots of things. One thing is inflation. If inflation rises, then this deteriorates the bond value, thus increasing the cost of the investor. Basically, inflation erodes the purchasing power of money. When lenders lend money for a fixed rate of interest, they want to ensure that the value of the money that they are, they are repaid maintains its value over time. If inflation is high, lenders may require higher interest rates to compensate for the expected loss of value in the money they receive in the future. I mean, that, that makes sense, but Sammy, please tell me that's it, right? Not quite. Uh, mortgage loans are often bundled together and sold as securities, mortgage-backed securities in the financial markets. When inflation rises, fixed rate payments on these securities become less attractive to investors because of the real value of the payments decreases. Yep. As a result, the demand of the MBS might decrease, lending it to lower prices. To attract investors back to the market, lenders might increase uh, interest rates for new mortgages. Yeah, I... This is literally what I used to do back in my investment banking days. So, I mean, all of that makes sense. And it is a really complex system, like you were saying. So, in a nutshell, inflation is really bad. But this makes total sense. Inflation can affect a consumer's purchasing power. If inflation is high and wages they don't keep up, consumers might have less money available for discretionary and spending, including housing costs. And this reduced purchasing power could lead to decreased demand for homes, which might put downward pressure on home prices. To maintain profitability, lenders might raise mortgage rates to compensate for the potential decrease in those property values as well. Correct. This means less options for consumers and it'll be tougher to obtain these loans. Okay, so where are the rates today? Well, they're volatile. It's been like this for the better part of a year and a half. So what are the reasons for that volatility? Uh, during times of market uncertainty, lenders will demand higher interest rates to compensate for increased uh, risks associated with lending. This will impact mortgage rates, especially if lenders become more cautious about extending credit. Uh, this is also in addition to an ever-eroding margin recently. Okay, so what does that mean? And please be to the point. Uh, we're currently at a 24-year high for interest rates. That that doesn't sound great. Uh, what goes up can certainly go down. We've seen the volatility become annoying, but that doesn't mean you can't buy a home at a reasonable price and uh, at a decent interest rate. Yeah, I've been doing this for way too long, and there's always a good opportunity out there as long as you want it. But sometimes the search can just take a little bit longer. Can't agree with you more. So what are some of the ways that you can combat this volatility? Be approved, be ready, and be serious. There's so much opportunity. Yes, I love it when prospective buyers have it together. It's a serious process. Coming into this with a lackluster attitude won't be helpful in achieving your goals. Could agree more. Being ready and serious will make life easier when it comes to uh, competing with other buyers. So tell me your thoughts on this. When rates do come down, this will create a new feeding frenzy and values are going to jump, right? Can't agree with you more again. Uh, prices don't tend to dip by hundreds of thousands of dollars. So give me some good news here. I, I need some. There are more and more economists that believe rates will stabilize within six to nine months, and this will create an environment where we see a stable increase in value. Thus, be ready now. Don't miss an opportunity just because your uncle thinks rates will dip in the twos in five months or the off chance that values will drop. Yeah, rates aren't going down to 2%. And I hear that all the time. It's crazy to think about all the people in the last five years that I've talked to that have said they're waiting until home values drop or all the people the last year or two that I've heard and them saying that, well, they're waiting until rates go down. Timing the market, it just never works. Yes, yeah, so think how much home values have gone up in those five years, how much mortgage rates have gone up in the last year and a half all while they continue to pay a 100% interest rate on rent, 
and get no upside on the value and lose all possible tax benefits. So, Sammy, do rates hit 9%? I don't think they're going to hit 9%. I think there's going to be a leveling off. I could see where rates hit 85 but I don't think them hitting 9%. I think inflation is going to be curbed. The big thing to think about is that student loan payments are going to start again shortly. This is going to suck up excess money, specifically money that goes to discretionary spending out of the economy. And so pull right out of coming. And that's a really interesting take on interest rates. Something I didn't think of with the student loans there. But here are my thoughts, right? And opinions are like belly buttons. Everyone's got one. But interest rates are going higher. Inflation is slow, but we're going to see the consumer price index jump maybe towards the end of this year. But definitely in the beginning of next year. How so? Well, the two major benchmarks in the inflation calculation, housing and energy, well, they're increasing. Housing is floating with all-time highs, while energy prices, they're skyrocketing. So you're saying you don't think the Fed is, is done raising interest rates? Correct. I don't see it. The Fed isn't done because inflation hasn't been stamped out. Inflation's hard to eradicate from an economy, especially when this large. And quite frankly, we haven't felt the pain that we need to in order to stamp out that inflation. So I don't know exactly what that number is, but if the government keeps spending money, and running deficits, then rates are going to have to go higher and higher. I see a world where 10% could be cheap, and today's rates of 7 to 8% are a bargain. <laughs> well, I hope you're right on that one. If you're thinking about buying, then reach out, as it would be a pleasure to talk. Yes, I only work in Massachusetts, but have very qualified associates all around the country that can help you find the perfect property. And I can help you in going over your financial options, whether you're looking to buy uh, from Massachusetts to California, and anywhere in between. And that's, that's a great point, as it wasn't just so long ago that you actually helped my brother buy his investment property down in Florida. So um, you can also reach me at YouTubeRealEstateAgent.com and just fill in your information, then we'll reach out to you. But also all of our information, it's in the description below. Until next time.